Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows updates, as many of you will know, 99.9% .9 of the time will require your device to restart to apply and install the updates. Now, just to give you a quick heads up regarding an issue that has been doing the rounds mainly on Reddit. So just to keep you updated and posted and in the loop. Now, as many of you may know, on Windows 11 and Windows 10, we get a couple of different options after an update has been installed that if you head to your power button um, in the start menu, you will see a couple of different options to be able to restart or shut down your PC to complete the updates. Now, if we just head over to a screenshot to give us a general idea, we get two options that are highlighted in that um, power button menu after an update has been downloaded. You can update and restart and you can also update and shut down. Now here's where the problem comes in with the update and shut down option. Where according to uh, posts and feedback mainly on Reddit, on Windows 10 and Windows 11, this option update and shut down for some users is not actually shutting down the PC. But um, when you click on update and shut down, what it does is it shuts down your PC and then basically returns to the login screen and then you are then required if you want to shut down your pc after that you have to then click um on the power button to shut down your pc from the login screen so in effect update and shut down is not actually updating and shutting down your pc it's mainly updating and restarting your pc with you then having to click on that power button in the login screen to shut down your pc so the terminology is not a true reflection of the actual option in a nutshell now, as mentioned, um, there are reports mainly over on Reddit and other feedback um, hubs and um, where people are giving uh, user feedback. But at this stage, although there are quite a lot of reports, it's mainly affecting the minority than the majority of users. But just bringing this to your attention in case you are affected, just to know and tell you that you are not alone, that this seems to be a general issue. Now, Microsoft has said that this, uh, the reason for this um, when you click on update and shut down, not actually shutting down, but in most cases restarting, is because of two main reasons. And the first is if we head over to our legacy control panel, power options, and we just head to some advanced power options. Here we can see turn on fast startup. That's the first reason why that update and shutdown may not actually shut down your PC after an update because Turn on fast startup, which is recommended and on most PCs is enabled by default. The description for the setting says this helps start your PC faster after shutdown. Restart isn't affected. So because of this feature being toggled on, it can cause the PC to restart instead of completely shutting down during the installation process of Windows updates as mentioned. And obviously, if you are affected, you can try turning this feature off and just following the steps uh, as I showed in this video, how to get there. And that may resolve the issue. Now, a second reason and Microsoft says that that setting and option isn't working correctly. And another reason is if you haven't installed updates for a long period of time. So maybe you haven't updated your device. It's been off for a couple of weeks or even months. So because of that, Windows um, may need to restart to continue with the installation, even though you click on update and shut down. So basically, it's just... Obviously, there are maybe a couple of updates and it can't just shut down. It has to do a complete restart to actually apply um, different updates, especially if you haven't installed updates for a long period of time, as mentioned. And apparently this issue is affecting Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and now also Windows 11. So this, up, this um, update and shutdown issue has been around um, for a couple of years now. And... Um, at this stage, though, we don't know if Microsoft is actually planning to improve this, but nonetheless, just bringing it to your attention because there are reports, and we like to keep you posted on the channel, that if you are clicking on update and shut down and it's actually restarting, those are a couple of reasons why, according to Microsoft. And obviously, if anything becomes available from Microsoft's side, if they do um, give us a little bit of feedback regarding this so-called issue, then obviously I will post and let you guys know accordingly. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.